Hey guys, welcome to another Epic Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to do Digital Blood Splatter in Windows Movie Maker. I have a house that my mom doesn't want me to mess up, so I prefer using Digital Blood indoors. So, so after you've got your shot, you can go into editing. Okay guys, first thing you're going to do is you, you're going to need to do is you're going to need a program called GIMP. You can download it from www.gimp.org. So then you need GIMP to do the blood splatter. So once you've downloaded GIMP, you can open up your video in Windows Movie Maker. So then, you can import video, and if your video is already in the videos folder, just import that video. Now in my, and now here's my video. That's my video. So what I'm going to do is actually add in a blood splatter by pictures. So, yeah. So, what you're going to want to do is find the spot right about, find the spot right about his head hits the wall. Then, take that picture. Name it B L what stands for B L stands for blood. So then go forward a frame. Name this one B L two. So then just do that all the way through. So then, when you've got all your frames, you can delete that extra video. Exit Windows Movie Maker. Now, go to My Pictures, and you'll find uh, uh, those pictures, BL1. So, open the one, there's his head, hit the wall, which would be that one. So we're gonna right click on it, click edit with GIMP. <laughs> so then, when GIMP loads up, it may take a while to load up, but it won't be frozen. So then, you can open up a blood splatter. You can just find an image of a blood splatter. Um, I, I will show you how to get the image of the, uh, blood splatter. So, then, you open up a image, an image of a blood splatter. Just fine, just really, it can be an image of, of blood, but it must have white around it. So, after you've gotten your image of the blood, blood splatter, Opened up, you go to colors, go, click color to alpha, you select white as your color to alpha, then there will be these checkered boxes in the background, which will be invisible. Now you're going to hit control A, which selects the whole frame, press control C, then open up your picture of your head hanging on the wall, press control V, now it will be invisible. So you're going to scale this down a bit. Yeah, there. Now you select the move tool, the tool and move it to about where you want. Then turn the opacity of the blood down. So then just sort of delete the parts that are on your face. So 
so I accidentally so do but anyway so just then when you've got the opacity of the blood toned down toned down you'll see that the blood is opaque but I forgot you have to paste it to a new layer so I'll just take that away okay so you've deleted the parts that are on your face well, you, you haven't deleted the parts that are on your face, but if you after you've pasted it as a new layer, drag it to where you want it to be, turn the opacity down, then just delete the parts that are on your face, then turn the opacity back up. So then just export this frame, do all your frames, and you're done. So then, once you've exported your image, you have to do all your frames. I'll come back when I've done that. By the frame with nobody in it, you just paste it on, then you size it down, scale it down. So then, you, so then, I'll come back when I, well, I don't, I don't have to come back because I'm already exporting my image. Then just export, click export, then just, you can close both of your images, then if an empty one pops up, you can close that. Then, when you're done with that, you go into Windows Movie Maker, and you will take y your frames that you did. So you will, you'll pick these frames, then drag, then drag them into the timeline. Then when you play it, it should look something like that. It looks weird, but if 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 you are better with GIMP than me, then you could probably do a good looking butterfly video. Now I have done. Very good looking bug spy videos. Now you just save it to your computer and you are done. Hope you enjoyed this and goodbye.